The president of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, Asu Emmanuel Sodeke, has vowed that its members will not back down on the current industrial action. He accused the federal government of not keeping to its promises. This is coming more than two weeks after Asu declared a one-month warning strike over the federal government's inability to honor its agreement with the body. According to him, members of the union have sacrificed for the country's educational system, therefore must, must get their demands met. Sodeke explained that many lecturers have not gone on leave for years as they try to meet up with academic calendar. He debunked claims that varsity teachers were being paid for doing nothing. And we're now being joined by the chairman of ASU, the University of Abuja chapter, Dr. Kasim Umar. Dr. Umar, good to have you yeah, join us on News Now tonight. Good evening. When will this impasse between ASU and the federal government end? Well, all depends on, on the federal government. Um, for government to uh, speed up the, uh, the renegotiation with our union so that uh, all, all the issues will be resolved. But to our own end, federal government calls for this fight because they refuse to honor the agreement with the timeline set by themselves. So, in our own end, the federal government has the opportunity to, to resolve this issue within the possible time. Are you saying that ASU will continue with the strike even after the one month warning strike if the federal government is not coming up to the demands? Well, of course, of course the strike was declared by National Executive Council of our meeting. After the one month, we we'll meet again, review the situation, review the, review the uh, progress so far made, and uh, if there's need, we will we'll do the needful. So far, with your meetings, we do understand that there's been there have been deadlocks in the meetings. Um, can you yes. brief us? on the current situation from the meeting between ASU and the federal government? Well, the meeting, as, as far as we are concerned, nothing has been done at all. The issues still remain the way they are, unattended to, and uh, the strike continues, as simple as that. What exactly is the federal government saying? Why? Do you think that the federal government is refusing to heed to, you know, these promises, these demands, rather? Yeah, of course. All the issues involve our timeline. We're over nine months ago. And we're saying all these issues have not been attended to, despite this, the one more truly strike. So, of course, they've not done anything. I am asking, what has the federal government said, you know, about the demands made by ASU? There must be an issue why the federal government is not heeding to the demands. What has, what has the meeting really brought out? What we are saying, like for instance, the draft agreement on our condition of salary. As it been signed and implemented, the answer is no. The UTAS that could be used to replace the ITPIS, because we are challenged by the federal government to produce it, as it been deployed to the university, the answer is no. So, what are we saying? The government has not done anything, and we are still waiting. So it means before another meeting is convened, it's going to be after the one-month warning strike, or are we expecting 
a meeting before the end of the warning strike. Tell us your plans, yeah. your agenda. Well, of course, uh, that, that question is expected to be answered by the federal government. We are, our doors are open for any meeting. Whenever we are called, we will attend the meeting. But the issue is that our demand has to be attended to and implemented. Thank you, Dr. Omar. Thank you for joining us on News Now. We'll still keep you're tabs welcome. with you. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.